Olympic Sports Centre, and that's where we are right now. It's a beautiful building, opened in 2018. It's going to take nine years to build the beautiful design, the concept of silk texture and the dynamic Tiantang River, the flowing structure. And Joe is known as the Silk City. Beautiful arena. So to our next match here on day two of competition at the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals and it's mixed doubles and it is the defending champions and two-time winners Cheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong up against Kim Wan Ho and Yong Na Un making their first appearance as a pair at this prestigious event. Well, this match is from Group B, and we can see that uh, nobody has played twice yet. And uh, the two pairs that won yesterday are the world champions, Su Xiang Jie and Chia Yu Jung, the two left-handers, and the pair we are about to watch, the defending champions here, Sheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong. So, as far as Kim and Jong is concerned, they lost to their teammates yesterday, the world champions, Su Xian Jie and Chia Yu Jung, 23-21 and 21-12. So, it is vitally important for Kim and Jong that they win this match against the defending champions. And number two seeds, Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong. Well, the dominant pair in World Badminton, no doubt about it. They are the world number ones, as though they were only number two on the World Tour list for the qualification for these World Tour finals. Six World Tour tournament finals this year, winning five of them, including three of the four Super 1000 events. That's an impressive year. So to Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Ung making their debut as a mixed doubles pair at these World Tour finals. For this man, Kim, it's his second appearance because last year he played men's doubles with Choi So Gu. They finished third in the group, and we've just heard news that Choi So Gu has been suspended by his national federation for a two year period. So I'm guessing he will form a new men's doubles partnership or just focus on this mixed doubles combination. Well, this will be a fourth meeting between these two pairs and of the previous three, it has, is actually the Koreans who've won two of them, including the last, which was the quarterfinal of the French Super 750 event in Rennes. You receive every side, please. So, Thank you. the defending champions who have won the toss of the coin and decided to serve. And this man has the most incredible record at the World Tour Finals. Uh, this is his fifth, his sixth appearance, and he's been in five finals from his previous five appearances. That is remarkable, winning four titles with two different partners. 26 years of age from the port city of Wenzhou. And that is here in Xijiang province. World number ones, and it's a total of a 192nd week as world number ones, as we look at Wang Yaxiong, who was actually a semi-finalist in the women's doubles of the World Tour Finals, going back six years. 29 years of age now, Huang Yaxiong, and uh, they lost in the final of the 2018 World Tour Finals, and then won a year later, and then won again last year. But they didn't play in the 2020 or 2021 World Tour Finals, the years of the pandemic, and of course, well documented that Chinese citizens had uh, restrictions on travel and therefore couldn't participate. Kim Wan Ho, well, he's in his second, as I was telling you, 
and he's 24 years of age from Suwon, the capital of Jiangjidou. They are currently two places down on the world ranking at number seven, but they finished the year at number seven on the race to these World Tour finals. It's a second appearance also for Jiang Na Ung because uh, she was the number one seed in the women's doubles last year with Kim Hae Jong, and they were semi-finalists, lost out to the Ain Saad sisters who then lost in the final. 23 years of age, born in the South Korean capital of Seoul. One World Tour title this year for the Korean pair, that was the Thailand Open, uh, beating Puavaranukro and Tegrat Tanachai of Thailand in the final. Also reached the final of the German 300 event. So our umpire from Vietnam and the service judge from Belgium. Mai Lang Yen from Vietnam and Sven Suri of Belgium, the service judge. So three previous appearances at the World Tour Finals for this Chinese combination and three finals. That's pretty impressive. Yang Ming, Chinese mixed doubles coach. And the Korean coaching bench as well. are up to the giant screen because there is a challenge on court number two at match point. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Jiang Chi Wei and Huang Ya Chong, China. And on my left, Kim Wong Ho and Cheong Nam Yong, Korea. Huang Jia Chong to serve two, Chiang Na Yong, Love All, Play. So the defending champions nearest to us as we all look down on the courts, Sheng Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong. Well, look how focused and fired up they are. Both have had a little Wang clenched fist after love. the very first point. Yeah. I think it may have surprised some Service people old. that the last time that these two pairs One. met, and indeed uh, they hold the the Korean pair hold the advantage, having won two of the previous three encounters. But they are a pair that I think are hugely talented and have got huge potential. Yeah, and and they're, they're sort of built quite well to uh, to play Jiang Siwei and, and uh, Huang Ya Chong. And the thing is that the scoreline is 2-1 is in the head-to-heads, but the one that Jiang Siwei and Huang Yachong won, that, that, was, that was an easy that win because uh, Kim Won Ho, he was, he was uh, injured and, and quite severely injured, but still played. They basically played the uh, reverse position in the mix uh, at some point this year, Kim and uh, Jong. So, um, so that, that's a really, really exciting match, this one. Lucky neck board for Chen Shi Wei. Three, one. When you say the Koreans are sort of, I forget how you put it, well equipped, built. built. Yeah, the pair is well built to What to do you challenge. mean by that? Um, the thing that uh, Kim Won Ho is both playing uh, men's doubles and mixed doubles. So um, he's used to um, cover a lot of court and he's not afraid to play the front court either. He plays with a player who started out mainly in, in women's doubles, um, Jong Aun, together with uh, Kim Hai Jong.
So she can play from the backcourt, and, and uh, we talked about it yesterday, the uh, relative strength between Huang Ya Chong and her opponent of, um, of yesterday, who I've forgotten who was. Tang and Si. Tang, uh, no, no, Tang and Si Hing Sweat, where I felt that Huang Ya Chong was perhaps stronger than Si than at the backcourt. I don't think that's the case here. I think Zhong Nan is stronger from the backcourt than Huang Ya Chong is. Interesting. So we could see them play um, in in, um, in the opposite uh, formation once in a while. And it might actually be a weapon for the Koreans. Plus, they both have a solid defense, so it's not so easy for Jung Soo Wei to uh, score. This time, the lucky net cord for the Koreans. Service over. Three, five. Excellent. Read there. Service all. Six, three. One of the question marks for me is, is there a strapping on that knee of uh, Kim Won Ho under the um, black um, stockings there? You can't see it. Oh, that's a great smash. Oh, they're challenging. I saw that as in. I agree with you, but again, that's one of those difficult ones to judge. Yeah, they come across. And there is a sideways drift. Yeah. We were talking about it yesterday yeah, from left to right. Point. So it may have gone a little bit wide, but it didn't. It was plumb on the line. Oh, we're getting better at these, Steve. Yeah. Starting to get tuned in here in the Olympic Center in Hangzhou. Susan J, he won the, uh, male player of the year. But I think yeah, if there was a, a coach of the year, then uh, the Korean mixed and men's doubles coach would be a strong candidate. Han Dong Shong here in white. Yeah. He's really worked wonders with both the men's doubles and the mixed doubles uh, over the past one and a half year, in my opinion. Oh. Beautiful play. He's done it again, and he did it with broken strings. And the Koreans are back level. Good use of angle. And he smashes uh, Kim Won Ho. There's an example of the strengths of Jong Na Ung at the back of the court. It's, and when we talk about strengths, it's it's not necessarily being able to hit the winner. It's no. been able to set the shuttle up for her partner at the front of the court to finish set it off. up and the endurance and the willingness to work 10, 12 shots if that's needed. Yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know if she ends up becoming just as good, but she reminds me of um, the former Olympic champion, Li Hu Jung, that whenever I see her in a tournament, she's gotten a little bit better. 
Yeah. And a little bit better, and a little bit better. When, when I first saw John Malone, I thought, ah, mixed doubles. Seven I don't think all. she's that strong at the front court and uh, intercepting that much at the net and so on. But, but she gets a little bit better every time I see her. Yeah. And that, that's really, I mean, how, how, do you, how do you plan against such a player? Yeah, well, it's difficult, isn't it? I do sometimes wonder, though, with uh, the former Seven. world champions, Sheng Wei and Wang Yaxiong, whether when they're playing against a pair like the Koreans, who are willing to go into the opposite formation of the standard yeah. mixed doubles with the female player at the back of the court, as they are now, and if they do that, then they tend to cut out Wang Yaxiong at the front of the court, Nine. and I think she feels Seven. a bit isolated, and therefore she wants to get involved and therefore starts coming out herself rather than stay in which is her best position yes so she, she basically uh, tries to help Jiang Siwei instead of saying hey you can take care of your business because otherwise my play yes risks deteriorating yeah but of course she does it in the Nine. best uh, mindset she wants to help absolutely win. The first time they played, that was in Singapore. That was an absolutely amazing match. Good rally. There's a beautiful shot from Jung Na Ung. And that's an example, Steen, of your point that she's getting better and better as a front court yeah. player. Side to side. Wonderful yeah. shot from Kim Wan Ho to go to the mid game interval with a two point advantage. Yeah, moving him from side to side, Cheng Shi Wei moved from the forehand to the backhand. Boy, what, what a shot that is. That was amazing, wasn't it? Fabulous shot from Kim Wan Ho. Ten minutes in and 11 9 at the mid game interval. So the two-point advantage to Kim Won Ho and Jiong Na Ung against the defending champions. Idea was good. Yeah, the, the thing I like about the Koreans in, in this rally here is that the Chinese, they have to earn their own uh, chances. They have to create their own luck. It, it's not some kind of random shot from the Koreans that sort of uh, gives back the initiative. They maintain the control over the rally. And if uh, Jiang Siwei is not finding um, um, 
sort of his his calm or or uh, becomes aware Ten, that he needs to well. bury that he can't just uh, sort of uh, power his way through then uh, it becomes difficult for them i think Seven. six of the last seven points to the koreans look at that return of serve that's wonderful Seven of the last eight parents now. Yeah. This is amazing. The Chinese pair came into these World Tour finals in great form because they won their last two tournaments, the Kumamoto Masters and then the China Masters in Shenzhen. Two titles in two weeks. A couple of weeks off and then these World Tour finals. Interesting situation here. Yeah. It's obviously been a change of tactics from the Chinese pair. Brilliant. Brilliant. And it's, it's so interesting because it's one of the situations where a lot of other pairs are struggling. When Huang Yachong is serving here, Kim Won Ho, he just stays at the net. And no matter how good Huang Yachong is at the net, Kim Won Ho covers more than she does. Yeah. And they get the initiative. That's one of the keys if you want to beat the two Chinese. You cannot let them fire away at you in the attack. Eventually, they will find a way to uh, penetrate. So you've got to go for the uh, initiative yourself. Oh, that's a service error. Short of the front line. Oi. Oh my goodness, what on earth was that shot? Round the head defence. Don't often see that. That's well left. Could it be a, a plan for Huang Yachong to flick to Kim Won Ho? That would be. Oh, that's well played. But that would be unusual to flick to get the uh, male player away from the net in mixed doubles. That would be the total opposite of what uh, everybody else is thinking. Yeah. Good variation. Good return, though. Yeah. Well. From Jiong. Gets the neck cord on the return of serve. Oh, that's oh, a beautiful yeah. shot. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> both the wrong way. What a rally. This is fabulous. Aye. Well, Babington at his very best. The final shot from Wang Yashiong. A disappointing backhand came off the frame of the racket. But the pace of that rally was just extraordinary. in it difficult for Kim to uh, control it Yashong did well to deal with the deflection from the net cord on the net shot. But the shuttle just popped up, and from that moment, the defending champions were in all sorts of trouble. Good nice. Again, good service return. Flick. Super, super important phase here. If the Chinese can come back and secure this first game, that would uh, calm the nerves, give them more confidence. Yeah, Wang Yashiong had the courage to step forward at exactly the right moment there, stepped into the defensive shot, changed the momentum of the rally. One point in it. But it is now two game point opportunities for Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Un. A wonderful interception and change of pace from Jiang Na Ung. And the fans here in Hangzhou are absolutely stunned. What a fabulous opening game. Badminton of the very highest quality. And the opening game in favour of the Koreans, Kim and Jiang. 21-18 in 21 thrilling minutes. Oh, 
，就是换个角度，就是把进攻的时候不要给他追上去，就是把打稳了。啊，点一点，你现在这点其实主动球，我主动是在下压，正要找突击的球，不然你现在到了后面一扫扫，他现在就是突击的球被摆，不是说点，就是点我一直一开始全是在劈，现在主要突击的球被摆，我现在突击的球被摆了，没办法，那这个球只能去走走边一点，走边一点线，现在往中路一打，你看他怎么不用他，他没抽出来。耐心点，耐心点啊！自己我们自己要慢点，慢点说啊！防守的时候，他现在你对角度要少点，你这边反击不要不要人不要松下。So one game to the good, Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Ung against the defending and two-time winners, Sheng Shi Wei and Wen Ya Xiong. What have the former world champions got to do to turn this around, Steen? Yeah, they, they've got to try and, and secure the attack and play with lots of variation. I think there were signs of it in, um, in the um, later stages of the first game. It was also interesting, we saw Jiang Siwei stay at the net here on the uh, uh, return level. So um, it's going to be a, a, a battle for initiative, I think. Uh, we're going to see them play with a lot of variation. Um, in their services. Service all. Two, to, uh, to keep the Koreans um, guessing. And again, the, the drift is really difficult to, to read. I, I still have a feeling that it's from... But they're playing with the drift, um, Jiang Siwei and Huang Yachong at the moment. So, interesting to see if they are more successful in their attack. I think the Koreans defended really well in the first game, especially in the opening stages. Three, one. Very good communication between Chen Shui and Wang Yashuan. Oh, that's his second service, service error. Two, three. I expect a push to the backhand of Kim Won-ho. Yeah. <laughs> now I like that smash service across four. the body towards Four. the right hip Two. of Jong Na Ung. Yeah, we have a photographer sneaking around the court where she's not supposed to be. That's why we have a little delay. Is that a tumble serve from um, Wang Ya Chong? Five, no, I didn't particularly notice it. Very serve. slight tumble. Yeah, but just a good serve. Yeah. Oh, you're right. He changed his mind there, I suspect. Service over. Three, five. Oh, that's a great net shot. Um, Yes, young. Service all. Six, three.
Oh, my goodness gracious. That missed the red court mat altogether. That was on the grey carpet. And she's really been involved in a lot here at the opening stages, Huang Yachong. She's done amazingly. because we could, we could also have the case that the Koreans are a little bit afraid of playing it long if they are the ones playing with the drift. So they're afraid of, um, of going for the back line, afraid of lifting as they uh, did in the first game. That supports that series. It does indeed. I think if I were the Chinese, I would, I would try to turn the first one around. The first shot from Zhong Nguyen, I would attack that. Or drive it back in. Yes. Yeah. Try to lift a little bit flat and then step forward. Nice. They're so efficient, those little blocks there. She plays um, Six, Jong Na Hoon. Nine. I think that's four or five that she's played yeah. that have created a winner or been an outright winner. And, and she makes it look so easy. And yes. It looks really easy. And, and then when you try it yourself, well, then it falls off the racket and, st yeah. and, and it hits your own toe or it goes in the net or it becomes a little bit too high. Super difficult to get the right timing on those. She's, she's got a lot of um, defensive shots from her from the right hand side of the court. Uh, going cross to the net has uh, Jong Nong. That's something that could be exploited um, if Huang Yachong starts covering her forehand a little bit more. Not in this situation, but when, when Jiang Siwei is attacking. I like that return. Super. And then alert to the next one. I would definitely, if I were the Koreans, I would start flicking uh, Huang Ya Chong. Just to get her away from the yeah. net. Yeah. You serve. Service over. Eight, ten. I think that would have been short. Yeah, he's nervous, if he, you ask me. I was just about to say it. It's Huang Yachong who's keeping uh, the Chinese in the game. See, there she was again. And again. So it is a two point advantage in favor of Cheng Shui and Wang Yaxiong here in the second game. So instead of being a two-point deficit, as it was in the opening game, here in the second, the defending champions with a two-point advantage. Come 
seven, nine, play. I don't think Cheng Shi Wei should be staying at the net after no. he's played the return of serve. No. I think they have to get themselves back in their favoured formation, which is Wang Yaxiong at the front of the court. Still a little nervous, if you ask me. Yes. Yeah, right. And their good start to this second game has, has been nullified. What were yeah. they ahead? Eight something? They were 8 3. Yeah. And now the Koreans into the lead. All three points since the mid game interval in favour of the Korean pair. Good defence. That's a wonderful smash from Seven Cheng Shui. Eight. Maybe that will help settle the nerves. Perfect, perfect placement of the smash. Super interception from Wang Yaxiong. This one, yeah. that's the one that did the damage. 13, 12. One of the skill sets there is to well, what the, the differentiates is how low does the opponent have to be below the tape before you make your move as a front court player there. And it's not much when you're facing Huang uh, Chong. Picking up on those little tails that's been wide. That was just what they needed. Three really, four really quick points. That's impressive. What was happening here? I, I have no idea what's happened in the last five rallies. I think the defending champions have just jumped on top of everything. There it was. Oh, he's missed it. Six straight points. And now the defending champions once again in a very commanding position. Service over. 13, 17.
service error from Jiang. Well, there's never a good moment really for a, a service error. No. That was a shocking moment. And there's seven, seven one down in the last eight rallies. Yeah. After having played so well. Oh, she got back the net court. Would you believe it? A moment of magic from Jiang Na Ung. That was extraordinary. Most players wouldn't even have been able to readjust to the net court. Not only did she readjust, she played a, a cross court winner. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. oh that's nice too. 15, 18. Oh, neck cords on every rally, it seems. It was such a good rally. How many times have we seen these brilliant long rallies and it ends in an error yeah. for the Chinese pair? It's almost as if they run out of patience, which seems extraordinary because, well, the, most people consider them the best pair in the world. Yeah, but it's, it's like that if, if, they, if Zhang Ziwei smashes more than four times and it's still not uh, flawed, then he becomes a little bit... What do I do then? Yeah. Just two points the deficit now. 16, 18. Nice, so there it is again. Beautiful shot. I, I think, 17, at least 18. the Koreans, I think maybe both pairs, they, they're simply playing so close to the edge. So, so the uh, difference between um, brilliant and um, not so brilliant is, is simply very, very uh, short. Well, the run of points stops at four. And therefore, Chen Shui and Wang Yashong, a two-point advantage and two points away from winning this second game. thought the other was going to play it. Yeah. And that, that's what, that situation that Jiang Siwei was in here, I find the Koreans are more clear on how to maneuver themselves out of a similar situation. So I feel that they play the defense a little bit better than the Chinese. Unpointed it. And it's all level at 19 or... Uh, well, well, well. Six of the last seven points to the Koreans. Another wonderful rally, ending 
with the Chinese era. Yes. So, seven of the last eight points and a match point opportunity for Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Eun. The Chinese need to lease the game to control their own destiny. was well played from Wang Yashiong. 20 all and an extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Uh, <laughs> Look at the reaction from Jiong. What a match. 20 all. Almost lost his call. It's a second match point opportunity for the Koreans. Oh, Nick called on the return of serve. I'll take him. That was almost a slam dunk. On the top of the tape there by Huang Ya Chong. Who's got the nerve? Who's got the character? Flash of rackets. And he played that final winning shot with broken strings to Kim Won Ho. Will it be third time lucky? Third match point opportunity for the Koreans. The worst place she could place it, uh, Jong Na Eun, over the right, uh, over the left shoulder of Huang Ya Chong. Fourth opportunity for the Koreans to beat the defending champions. And how quick is he up there, Kim Won Ho, to move all the way across court. <laughs> and a fourth match point is well saved. And so the drama continues. landed well in and having just saved four match points now Cheng Shui and Wang Yaxiong have a game point opportunity to send this to a decider Oh, that's loose. Oh, my goodness. Brilliant rally. Fantastic. Wow. The 
this has been a match to savour. Somebody's using a flashlight behind the court. Can you believe it? Oh, he used something. Oh, that was going wide. Yeah, I can tell you Wang Yashong indicating to the person in the front row or the second row, switch that flashlight off. We had a laser pointer in the middle of the rally trying to point at the person using the flashlight. That doesn't make it any easier because that flashlight is uh, moving all the time, or the, the laser light. Well, testament to the players' concentration. They didn't let that bother them. Second game point opportunity to the number two seeds to take the second game and force a decider. What a match this has been. Good serve. Don't believe it. Defence of Jong. And again. As well judged. Very well judged. Wow. 25 all. Service all. 25 all. Oh, my goodness. Well, I can hardly believe it. Service error. The nerves are jangling. Third game point opportunity for Sheng Shui and Wang Yixiong. One game all. 27 25. Well, what drama and what excitement. What a wonderful group match this is. One game all, and we will be treated to a third and deciding game. Saving four match points before winning that second game, the defending champions. Nerves of steel. Okay. 
Love of play. Well, what an absolutely thrilling match this has been so far. One game all. So much drama and excitement at the end of that second game. Four match points saved by the defending champions, Zheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong. Oh, came off the frame. Well taken. Yeah, I thought he had broken the yeah. strings. That's why he stayed at the net. Service over. One love. I hope he's got enough record with him here. Because it's not the first, it's not the second, it's not the third either that he's spoken. Kim Won Ho. You know, Steen, you made a comment in that second game about Cheng Shi Wei. It looked as if, you know, sometimes he, he gets a little frustrated if four of his big smashes come back. Yeah. There's the third one, there's a fourth one. And he's actually forced the error. But then sometimes he makes a mistake. I think when he first sort of burst onto the world stage, when he was playing with Chen Ching Cheng, he was so fast and he was so aggressive. And he did always get through within four yeah, smashes. Yeah, exactly. Now other players have, are able to live with that. I think he needs to have more variation from the back of the court. I still think he uses too many hard smashes all of the time. Yeah. That's a good shot. Good placement from Wang Yaxiong. Three, two. Yeah, the, the, the thing is that the mixed doubles players, the rest of the mixed doubles players, they've looked at this pair here and, and tried to figure out what do we need to improve to stand a chance. And, and uh, you need to be able to survive one or two shot extra in the defense. Second service error. Four, three, two, two. Good variation in the service again. Jet's apology from Wang Yaxiong. <laughs> oh, that's a good flick serve. Well, that's the first drop shot, so I think pretty much that he's hit all match. Away from the back of the court. There's some signs that um, Jong Naun is uh, struggling at the moment. So much 
for that. <laughs> <laughs> Two don't you courts just in a row. Don't you just love it when the players prove us wrong, yeah. Steen, and they lift their games and suddenly play brilliantly? I mostly love it when they prove you wrong, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I had to buy the teas last night. Yeah. yeah, that's well played. I think she started uh, the comeback, Huang Ya Chong. Started close. Yeah, don't, don't play her there if you can avoid it. Started closing down the. Uh, left side of the net. Oh, the Koreans, I would um, play behind her in the forehand side and then the long backhand of uh, Jiang Si Wei. It's not always possible. You can't totally avoid it. But, uh, serving towards the side, that's definitely uh, a case for Jiang Huang. Service over. Five, eight. Oh, okay. good skill. Now that's another variation in pace that I've been looking for from Cheng Shi Wei. And again. Lucky neck cord. That could of course just as well have been um, an error from uh, from Jiang Su Wei, but but you said it uh, was it just after the uh, first game where you said that um, you felt that the Chinese player need to play more in the uh, normal formation. Yeah, and that's what they're doing now. Yeah, that's what they're doing, and it's working for them. And if I were the Koreans, I would definitely flick uh, Huang Ya Chong. Perhaps it's too late because she's gotten confident at the front court. Flicked at all the Koreans. I haven't noticed it. No, I haven't either. <laughs> nice drop. Oh, my goodness! Another net court. Would you believe it? Desperation defence behind the back. Net cords. Ten, Wonderful six. attacking play. That rally had it everything. Yeah, the slice angled shot. I do prefer to see that than the power play the whole time. Good variation from Xing Shi Wei. Oh, it's landed in. Well, there's a challenge here. I saw that as on the line. Here we go. What does the instant review say? Plum on the line. 
successful one challenge remaining. So the players will change ends. And it is a five point advantage for the defending champions here in the deciding game. Uh, well, this has been a simply fabulous match. Wonderful to watch. Eleven. But the distinct advantage at the moment Play. with Shen Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. 11-6 in the deciding game. I remember they had to save four match point opportunities in the second to force this decider. Oh, that's a nice shot. Koreans have to keep their belief. Got to yeah. keep their heads held high. And their, their shot quality, and I think that has dropped a bit. Perhaps also due to the uh, variation that's coming from the Chinese pair. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, a bit of a discussion between the former world champions who were supposed to go for that. Chong can push that service return five centimeters extra. And Jong is, is trying to do the same shot. Very successful here, but she's trying to do the same shot every time. Well, they had a five-point deficit in the second game, did the Koreans, and they got back level. In fact, went in front. So this is not beyond them. Fourteen, eight. No, but, but I, I, what I'm missing is to see them do something a little bit different. The Chinese started already in the end of the first game, put more variation in their game, became more sort of like clear on what to do. And I haven't seen that from the Koreans. They, they keep on doing what, what they've been doing well for a big part of the game. But right now it seems like the Chinese, they, they found the solution. So the Koreans need to change it up again. Yeah. 50, eight. Yeah, it's very well finished off. A bit of a reverse slice on that from Yashiong. Wow, that's super quick reflexes from Kim Won Ho.
Yeah, that goes down as a missed opportunity. late to play that yeah and that's indecision at the back of the court costing the Chinese pair there Stepped up, um, Jiang Siwei. I think it's more that the Koreans are just a fraction slower. Yeah. And therefore, his so fast play is having more of an impact. Efficient. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's well played. Is it too little, too late? Well, they were 12-17 down in the second game. And then it got awfully close. That was an important rally. Flick. away from a second win in Group B. This isn't over yet, no. you know.
Oh, that's a nice block. What a good rally. Change your ways tired, you know. I think they all are. Oh, he got a shot. What a rally to bring us to match point opportunities. Cheng Shui Wei in the end was at a standstill. Look, he didn't move his feet at all to play that winner. Five match points for the defending champions. And they've done it. They have come back from the brink saving four match points in the second game. Zheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong before coming through a thriller against Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Un. That's one of the best matches match that we've seen Wang so far. Wei and Wang Yaxiong, 18, 21, 27, 25, and 21-15. 21-15 in the deciding game, an hour and 14 minutes of simply brilliant badminton. What a joy to watch. And it always takes two pairs to make such a thrilling match. So spare a thought for Kim and Jiong, who put up a brave, brave fight. But Cheng Shui and Wang Yaxiong through uh, this second match of the group. 18-21, 27-25. 21-15 in the deciding game, having come back from four match points against them. Well, don't go anywhere because our next match should be equally exciting because our next match is a men's singles and it's a must-win situation for both players. The number one seed, Kodai Naraoka, lost his match yesterday and so did the Olympic champion, Victor Axelson. It's a must-win for both players.
Welcome back to Hangzhou and the stunning Hangzhou Grand Theatre, the Opera House and the Concert Hall, part of the incredible skyline of this modern and vibrant city. Also an ancient city, dates back over 2,000 years to the Qing Dynasty. After that fabulous mixed doubles, we turn our attention for the next two matches to men's singles. And this is vital for both players. It is the number one seed and world championship silver medalist, Kodai Narok.